Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my Panda palette update for you. I have a bunch of palettes here and I apologize, like outside, I don't know, like it's literally pouring down. I've never seen that much rain in my life, so if you can hear it, I apologize, but this, this is insane. After weeks of 36, 37 degrees, it's finally raining. I love it, but this is insane. Let's just get started with the update. Now, I think I did a little bit of a mistake here, because I think this is from last time, right? Where I hit the... where I used up the Colourpop shadow and I hit panel the Too Faced one. I think that's from last time. I'm not really sure. Like, I'm getting old, okay? My brain is not working the way it should. I'm just gonna show it to you again. I think I showed you this one. This is the It's My Pleasure palette by Colourpop. Uh, yeah, I used up Chiclet probably, right? This one here. So this is what chiclet looks like. Beautiful color, but very, very powdery. Just this one, two, and this one. They're very powdery, and then these two that are already empty. Very powdery. Just, they're like loose pigments, and if you're not careful with that, they're gonna break. And while I think I showed you this update last time, I used this one a few times too. This is Earth Shine. Currently have it on my lips. It gives you a nice glow. It's, that is actually a beautiful color. Don't know how it true it is on the eyelid. I haven't really tried that. Because I like I love this palette, it's gorgeous. But given the fact that uh two shadowed very easily, this one is very powdery and also very easy to use up. I'm, I'm just a bit afraid to use these two, even though they're beautiful. I mean you, you can see how they, how shiny they are. But I'm a bit afraid. So maybe after my vacation, which by the way, I am currently on vacation when you see this video. Hello. Uh Maybe after my vacation, I will actually try to use this a bit more. You know, if I could, I would take this on vacation with me, but it's just too fragile, and I do not want to mess with this. Uh, the other thing I have here is the Makeup Revolution palette, which doesn't really have a big update. This is what it looks like. I expanded the pen a little in this shade here, which is oak. Then these two I haven't touched. And I've decided to not take this on vacation with me. I take my eyebrow pencil with me, because, you know, taking this palette, on occasion with me for literally just one shadow that I use currently, which is not worth it. It takes up too much space and I probably get frustrated with it that I have to take this on vacation with me and take it back just to use, like we only go a week, okay, just to use this like maybe seven times if even, if I even fill my brows in, which is not worth it. So I take a brow pencil with me, I hope I can use that a few times and then sharpen it a few times. You know, you, you get a bigger progress, I think, or much more of a progress with a brow product than this. Oh yeah, um, I, I give you a swatch, you probably seen this before. This. And then I will also show you Earth Shine just as a swatch. It's gorgeous color though. Do oh. you see how beautiful it is? Beautiful, but so fragile. It's like the Addy Redmayne of eyeshadow. So fragile, so cute, adorable. Uh, I brought this out. This I will actually take on vacation with me. Can you can you believe it? this is the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia? And once again, this this just shows how good these products are. Because I I'll just show you what it looks like. There's not much of a progress at all. I just want to show you. I use this one here, Vermeer. I use that on top of another darker shadow, and you could still see the shadow, which is a shimmer shadow. It's really hard to do that. I have one in my chocolate bar palette that is not doing this justice at all. So I take this on vacation me so you can see what it looks like now. I just hit on this one. The rest is just normal shadow. Uh, I did, however, use this a few times and I expand the pen a little bit, just like. And then Vermeer, like I said, gorgeous color. This one is my least favorite, which is why I want to use that one up, but this is what the other ones look. There are a few dips, like there's a dip going on. There's a dip, there's a dip. Maybe here too, like. We'll see. We'll see how far I can go with this. Now I want to give you swatches. So this is Golden Ochre. i just put that here. See, it's not really... Like, it's like a poopy brown color. It's not really my thing. And then Vermeer. There. I have all of my eyes currently... Oh, my mascara is effed up, yes. Uh, even as a holiday. As a holiday. As a holiday. So beautiful. I love it. Also, I don't think I've ever taken this on vacation with me, so it's gonna be fun just to see what I can do with this. Like, you have the old, like, the neutral side here, then you have the colorful reddish shadows here, and the darker ones. I'm just excited to see how this will work. 
Uh, then I have this one here, which is the All About Nudes palette by Essence. I did expand this a little bit. I hit the edge here, and then not much of a progress. It's still there. <sighs> I think I take this on vacation with me. I have to. Like, it's only one shadow left. I have to use this. Oh my god. Okay, and last but not least, I have my chocolate bar palette here, which still looks rather the same. It's hot to use. Okay, because it's just darker colors. And it's a lot of brown. So this I think I expand the pen a little. This I expand the pen a little, and that's about it. So this is hot chocolate, which you've seen before. Horrible swatch. Where 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 is the fault? Horrible swatch. But you know you can deal with it. And then this is champagne truffle. What next? It. Oh God. How am I supposed to be a beauty guru when I can't even do swatches? Can you... You can see it a little bit. You can also tell how this one from Anastasia is much shinier than this. Now granted, this is a whole swatch. So what I meant with the um, putting the Anastasia one on top of the other, I tried to put hot chocolate and champagne truffle on top. Like, hot chocolate all over the eyes and then champagne truffle on top of it. It doesn't look that good. Maybe the pigmentation is just not there. I, I can... Let's do a live experiment. So... Okay, that, that was a horrible swatch once again. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we have two times hot chocolate here, right? Then I put champagne truffle on top of the other. Just tapping it on, just like I usually would. Okay, and then I use the Anastasia one. Can you see how this one is much more vibrant than this? I mean, you can see that there's a bit of a shimmer going on, but this is just like in your face. Which just tells me that the Anastasia shadows are better quality. They are very soft, you know, like, I feel like if you just look at them, they just disappear. So don't go in too hard with your brush, but the pigmentation is just so much better. You can see it. Yeah, so this is one reason why I take this on vacation with me, because I just really, really love it. So that was it. That was my update. It's not a lot to update on, but, you know, I tried a few shadows here and there. I fell in love with this one again. Yeah, there's a reason why I've done so many palette bingos with this. By the way, there will be a new palette bingo with this one soon. So, uh, my total is, I think, 63? Could that be it? Could that be it? I don't know. I'm, I'm so confused. Because I think I did the Colourpop one last time. I'm not really sure. Oh my god, I'm getting... I'm really getting old. So, that was it. That was the last update. I'm excited to see what I can use on vacation. Um, follow my Instagram if you want to see more. I have two Instagrams now. I have one, like my main one, and the other one's a backup where I post more candid pictures, you know, like behind, or behind the scenes. That sounds like I'm such a superstar. But you know, like more, like unedited pictures and memes, all of memes, if you want to see memes, follow that one. Um, yeah, so I will try to post updates here and there. And also my aunties, because if I use something up on vacation, I will not bring that back with me. There's just no way I would do that. So I will take pictures of everything and then do an empty video once I'm back. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know how your projects are going, your project pen, pen or palette, whatever else projects have gone on, and that's the next video. Bye. Oh, I need to show you this. Look at the weather outside. Can you see? It's pouring down. I used this one up. Oh my god, it's disgusting outside. Oh, so I'm not talking. Calm down, of course. Like, whenever I start filming, he wants to go down from the window. So, why is this crooked? I don't know. I did expand. Whoop! Jesus. Okay, hold on. Wait, whoa. Where's the focus? Maybe. Maybe, uh, maybe like this. Oh, whatever. Uh,